Hey guys, this is Peter from GoodyReader.com. Today we have a quick video between the Onyx Ink Phone on the left and the Sony Xperia Z2 on the right. Now, of course, this is running full LCD backlit. It's a standard color display that you'll see on every device from a computer screen to a cell phone to a laptop, tablet, everything. This is an e-ink screen. It looks fake. It looks like it's one of those stickers they pre-put on the phone, but it is indeed real. Now, let's just look at a couple day-to-day -day use features you'd use on both these devices. We're just gonna go through so you can see a natural uh, user experience on both of these devices without anything really set up or planned or anything like that. So we're just gonna go to like our apps just so you can get an idea of how different these are, how slow this is actually going to be on the Onyx. So you can see everything's very snappy on an e-ink, on a, sorry, not e-ink, on a LCD. We'll go to Amazon Kindle. And then we'll go to Kindle on here as well. Kind of look at a book. You can see how much slower it is on the Onyx. Now the Onyx has a tremendous battery life. It can last up to close to two weeks on one battery charge. So we'll do a page turn at the same time. You can really tell the, how sluggish it gets on the e-ink screen. The ink screen it does not affect your eyes at all. There's no refreshing. This is actually refreshing very, very quickly. You just don't notice it because that's how it makes it super fluid. Also, if you drag down the top, you'll see we have something called A2. A2 is a performance mode that we can switch on or off. So now it will be a little bit smoother. So we'll go through everything now. I pressed home three or four times, but you'll see that it is uh, very poor looking now, but it's much quicker. So we can go to messaging, new message. Uh, I'll go to a browser just to pull up the keyboard here. All right, so here are the two keyboards side by side. I'm just going to type my name on both of these. Not too bad. We'll go ahead and look at the phone call. So we have numbers. Very slow, very unresponsive. Now you'll notice that uh, these two are smartphones, of course, whereas this is running screen uh, screen that's very evident of an e-reader. Um, this phone cannot actually make any calls, the Onyx Ink Phone. It actually, all of the Onyx Ink Phones released have an IMEI problem. That's the uh, unique identifier on all cell phones on the back beneath the battery cover. None of them actually are registered properly and they're not collaborated. So you, even if you buy this phone to make calls, you can't make any calls on it. It will not work. Even if you have a valid SIM card and you put it in there. We'll just go to calculator. So you can see everything's super super unresponsive, very slow, very painfully slow. And this is with performance mode on. If we turn it off to get quality mode back, it's even slower. Let's go to the web browser. See how slow it was to load up? You can see we tried to type something and it was misspelled. This has just been a quick video to show how this thing reacts in real world conditions. You can actually see the keyboard stained over the screen here. I wonder if you can see that. You can see the keyboard right there. It's actually a lot of staining. And they say if you shake the phone, Ah, that's kind of cool. So I shook the phone and that triggered a refresh. It's kind of think of it like an Etch-a-Sketch. If you shake an Etch-a-Sketch, it wipes it away. Uh, Etch-a-Sketches are also black and white. So that is just a quick overall experience um, 
putting it next to a standard smartphone that we're all familiar with, just to show you guys exactly what you're going to get into when you get this phone. Um, to, to say the least, this is the worst phone, this is the worst device I've ever used in the past eight years of being in this business. And that's not being, that's not me being overly critical. That's just factual. This phone is pretty much the worst device I've ever used. It's definitely top three. It's definitely top one in the past and since I've ever been in business. It's slow. It's sluggish. It's unresponsive. It doesn't do the one thing it is. The one thing it is. It is marketed to do: make calls. It doesn't do it. Can't even make calls. Um, it, it anything you put on it, either side loaded or preloaded or downloaded from the internet on here, just doesn't work properly. Can't play games. Can't play movies. It's two hundred and fifty dollars after import tax and currency conversion. Um, it, it it's. It's unusable. It's an unusable device. It's painful. It's slow. It, there's no redeeming qualities to this device whatsoever. The only thing I can think of, and that's reaching, is that it is using Mobius screen. But that doesn't matter when you can't do anything to really show... To, the screen is just passive. It's just showing you information. The screen is good and everything else is garbage. It doesn't matter what the screen really does if it doesn't transmit a quality product, if it doesn't run, if it doesn't move. So... Yeah, it's probably the worst device I've ever used. Um, I, I, I am, I'm sorry if anyone has this device, but I'm being completely honest. I mean, we're very generous in our reviews, but this one is the worst phone, the worst device ever. For goodreader.com, this is Peter. Everyone, have a great day. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. And boom. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh my God, I panicked. Look at all. I wasted seven rounds. What am I jumping over? Oh. Oh man, oh man, I don't care, I don't care, what am I doing? Oh, I beat my, I have one bullet! How do I do a headshot? Like, how do I decide to do a headshot? No, don't, don't get all shaky on me now. Where's the dog? Oh, 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 oh.